Good morning children. Today we shall learn about profit and loss. In the story we saw Rahim's shop was very famous for its delicious food. Correct? Everyone loved to eat the tasty samosa, kachori, vegetable sandwich there. So how did Rahim do it? Rahim bought vegetables and bread from the market and made tasty sandwiches from it. He sold the sandwiches to make money or to earn money. Now the question is how does Rahim make money? Rahim spends money and then earns it back by selling sandwiches. Next day he has to buy vegetables, bread again from that money to make more sandwiches. Then how does he manage to make money for his family, shop, rent, etc? People say businessmen make profits to be rich. You must have heard it. But what is profit? How to make profit? Let us see how Rahim does his business. Assume someday Rahim buys vegetables spending 50 rupees. For the simplicity, let us assume the money spent in buying bread etc. is included in this. He makes 8 sandwiches from it. He sells each sandwich for 10 rupees. So he earned 10 into 8 which is 80 rupees. If he buys vegetables spending 50 rupees again next day, still few rupees would be remaining with him. Isn't it? He would have 80 minus 50 which is 30 rupees. This 30 rupees is for his family. This means he earns an extra 30 rupees every day. Isn't it? Assume someday he couldn't make 50 rupees by selling the sandwiches. He sells only few sandwiches that day, say 5 and that too at lower price for rupees 8 each. So he gets 8 into 5 which is 40 rupees. But the sandwiches will be spoiled by the next day. So if he wishes to buy vegetables of rupees 50 next day, he would need to add some rupees to his previous day earning of 40 rupees to make it 50, isn't it? So he would need to add some money from his savings and nothing is saved for his family that day. He doesn't want that. Now, can you tell how Rahim can become richer or can take back more money to his home? Is it by making 40 rupees after spending 50 rupees or by making 80 rupees after spending 50 rupees? Yes, by making 80 rupees after spending 50 rupees. He has an extra 30 rupees for his home. So, we can say Rahim is making profit here. So what is this profit? When a businessman makes more money by spending less money, we can say he has made profit. Like in the case of Rahim, he spent 50 rupees but he made 80 rupees. So he earned 30 rupees which is his profit. Let us see how Rahim makes profit. Rahim buys some vegetables and it costs him some amount. So we call that price as the cost price. Here the cost price is 50 rupees. Then using the vegetables he sells sandwiches to earn money. As he is selling we can call the price at which he is selling the selling price. 
the selling price of one sandwich is 10 rupees so the selling price of eight sandwiches is 80 rupees Rahim makes profit by making 80 rupees after spending 50 rupees so we can say we make profit when the selling price is greater than the cost price we can say he makes 30 rupees extra and that is profit but how do you get that hmm, simple profit is selling price minus cost price but if he earns lesser money than the cost price by selling the sandwiches he wouldn't be able to save money he would need to add money from his savings to buy vegetables for the next day like when he earned only 40 rupees after spending 50 rupees we can say he made loss we can say easily that he is 10 rupees short from what he spent so the loss is 10 rupees but how did you find that yes simple by subtraction loss is cost price minus selling price in summary Rahim has to make profit to be rich he makes profit when he earns more than what he has spent so we can say profit means selling price is greater than the cost price which he spent to buy things like Rahim spent 50 rupees to buy the vegetables and earned 80 rupees by selling the sandwiches made from those vegetables. Here selling price is 80 and it is greater than the cost price which is 50. So he made some profit which he can spend on his family and other needs. If someday he makes lesser money than what he has spent then we say it is loss so loss means cost price is greater than the selling price like if someday Rahim earns only 40 rupees by selling the sandwiches and the cost price in which he bought the vegetables is 50 rupees which is greater than what he earned then he couldn't even recover what he spent so he made a loss here cost price 50 is greater than the selling price which is 40 so we see profit is selling price minus cost price when Rahim bought vegetables for 50 rupees and made 80 rupees by selling the sandwiches his profit was 80 minus 50 which is 30 rupees and what is loss well we subtract the smaller number from the bigger number when Rahim makes loss cost price is greater than the selling price so loss is equal to cost price minus selling price like when Rahim bought vegetables for 50 rupees and managed to earn only 40 rupees by selling the sandwiches he made loss cost price is 50 50 minus 40 which is the selling price is 10 so 10 is the loss Rahim also made loss when he threw away all the sandwiches as the rat spoiled them and he sold nothing so his selling price was zero but he was a nice person so he decided not to make profit by selling the spoiled sandwiches risking others life was it a right thing to do yes he did make profit he actually made a friend Suhail and also gained loyal customers and that's more valuable correct children now if you want to earn more then these are the simple things like cost price 
and selling price which will help you. That's all for now. Bye bye children.